I am Dr. Balamurugan. I am a senior consultant neurosurgeon with Apollo Hospitals. Today is a World Stroke Day and um, the most important thing about stroke is we all know about communicable diseases, that is infections. But non-communicable diseases will be the largest cause for death in this country, which includes diabetes, hypertension, cardiac problems and the fourth important thing is going to be stroke. Stroke is the leading cause of death in people who are over the age of 60 who have diabetes and hypertension. Basically in stroke there is blockage of blood vessels to the brain which is very similar to the heart attack so it is called the brain attack or there can also be bleeding into the brain because of high blood pressure. Thirdly and most importantly we can also have some weak spots in the blood called aneurysms which develop in patients with hypertension. The treatment for stroke is actually prevention. So having good control over diabetes, good control of hypertension, regular exercises is very important. But once we have stroke, early treatment, early recognition and early treatment are the mainstay. Early recognition is any chances of weakness of the face or hands and legs or difficulty in speaking immediately bring it to the notice of the family's physician and take the appropriate medication and get the scans done. If there is a large area of loss of blood supply and pressure on the brain or if there is a bleeding inside the brain then this patient may require surgery. If there is a weak spot in the brain what is called as an aneurysm then an angiogram may be necessary and after the angiogram the patient may undergo either microsurgery to close this weak spot or rarely a coiling procedure so that the weak spot does not bleed again. If the patient comes with established stroke that is hemiplegia or paralysis on one side of the body still there is hope. These patients can be treated effectively and we can have what is called as rehabilitation. So getting up and going on the move after stroke is also possible with appropriate therapy. So early detection, appropriate treatment and good rehabilitation will make these patients recover quickly and get back to useful productive life. Thank you.